1989, I did brick workouts where I would do my long ride and then I would get off the bike and run anywhere from 20 minutes all the way up to some, some days, 50 minutes, even up to an hour. These are so key to do if you want to have a great run in your triathlon. Teach your body that when you're done with the bike ride, there's still something else to come. The coup de gras, the creme de la creme, the run, okay? A lot of athletes think that a brick run has to be this super long thing. A brick run is not to help you develop the endurance you need to have a good run in a race. A brick run is to train your body that when you get off of the bike, you've learned how to transition from cycling muscles to running muscles to getting into your running stride. That should take place in about 20 minutes of running. You do your long ride, or maybe you do it off of a, a medium distance ride. That run only needs to be 20 minutes to train your body to transition from cycling to running. Like I said, you can do brick runs that go up as long as 45, 50, maybe even an hour worth of running. After that, you start to get a lot of muscle breakdown and there's a diminished return on the benefit you are going to gain from that especially because it really slows recovery, it takes a lot longer. You wanna save those really long runs after your bike ride for race day.